Hey guys, welcome back to Bex Plays. My name is Bex and today we are playing The Long Dark Wintermute. And this is a part two or episode two. Last episode, our ex Astrid came looking for us. She had some kind of secret mysterious package that she needed to get to Great Bear Island. We reluctantly did take Astrid to Great Bear Island, but our plane crashed. We did manage to survive, but Astrid is missing. We can't find Astrid. And we have now come across a little mountain town and we found a little house with lights on and smoke coming out the chimney and that is where we're at okay so let's get right into it guys okay so we are where we were at last episode Mackenzie has just come into this house and we're calling out hey anyone here and we've come across this lady in the chair just says unknown okay we're gonna click on her hey hey wake up <gasps> oh, Crap. hold your fire Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. Must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The other are all gone. If you are here, things must be worse than they thought. Okay, so now we get to gun. Well, gun is highlighted in blue, so I think we'll choose that option. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. Are you expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad man. The bad men came, took my things, tried to take my house. They thought they were safe because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Uh, the bad men? Who are the bad men? The men, they, they passed through town the night of the storm. The night of the fight. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I. Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. Um, hurt. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being whole means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Yeah, they did. Uh, supplies. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. 
You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The Batman took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Okay. We can ask her other things, like, uh, we can ask her about the power. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here, since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Okay, so this town we're in, Milton, is completely cut off from the rest of the world, uh, mainlander. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. <sighs> we lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? Wow, okay. Uh, so they hate outsiders, uh, mainlanders, which is what we are, <laughs> others. What really happened here? It seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? With brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it. Possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. No, we need to know more about the voices because if that was Astrid... Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? Memories are grey, misty. I'm tr trying to remember. 
It was windy. Blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. Blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Okay. Uh, empty. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. Uh, smoke? You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do. After the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. No, who's Lily? <laughs> Way out. Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. Oh, wow. Okay, that's very depressing. <laughs> find supplies to help keep Grey Mother alive. Okay, so we need to try and keep this lady alive. Everybody has abandoned this town and left her. Okay, and we need to check the gas station for more supplies. But first, we need to cook this. Oh, we haven't, wait, inventory. We need to harvest the bunny rabbit. So we can get that meat and eat it because our hunger is very low. Back, okay. So let's cook that rabbit meat. Yeah, we can cook both of them at the same time. Amazing. I was just clicking on her to see if we could do anything else with her, but we can't. Um, I've got other stuff to eat in here as well. Oh, and we're really thirsty now. Drinking all of that water. This piece of rabbit is nearly ready. I'm gonna eat that. And pass the time until this is ready and then eat this. And our hunger is doing a lot better. Um, what is the time? It's the middle of the night. Do we have anything else to eat? Yes. See, these cattails came in so handy. Eat that one. And 
that one as well so that's everything we've got that we can eat oh, we've also got this that will give us a few calories okay um do we have a bed roll on us no we don't um so we need to go upstairs Okay, quickly going to try and find a bed and go to sleep until the morning. I don't know how to throw the match away, so we're just going to have to wait until it burns out. There you go. And the bed. We're going to go to sleep for eight hours. Okay, we are up now. And we can let's put this match away I just used it to find our way to bed last night um, we are quite hungry let's go downstairs check our objective find supplies to help keep grey mother alive so we need to stock her food with fridge and fill her bin with firewood okay so let's take a look on the map and this is the grey mother this is where we are now and this is where we have to go to find supplies right, so we're really hungry we're gonna eat our last cattail we really need to get more food um, and we'll drink this Yeah, okay, so, oh, water. Let's see what we can get in here first. And we'll drink that water we just found. Okay, so our stats are good enough. We're gonna head out, but there might be wolves. So I'm gonna hold this just in case just in case we need to defend ourselves <laughs> okay so we are outside in the town of Milton oh god I just heard a wolf where is he oh he's over there he's distracted by the rabbit let's go I was I hate that noise. Yeah, so I was just going to say the weather is looking pretty bad. Oh, do you know what? When we harvested the rabbit, I forgot to leave the like the guts um, back indoors with the grey mother because um, now we're going to stink so if there's any wolves about they're going to really smell us because we've got that stinky rabbit guts on us so that is not good and we've only got one flare <laughs> Oh god, see, all the deers are running, which means there's probably a wolf over there. Yep, I can see a wolf over there, he's just got a deer, I think. Like, right at the back, over there. Oh lord. I really don't want to bump into a wolf, and there seems to be loads of them around at the moment. Yeah, that one's distracted, eating a deer. Oh lordy. Oh god. Okay, uh, get the coal. Get the flare shell. And head out here. Check that. Oh, can't. 
open. There's nothing in the car. Uh, check the front. Search the glove box. No, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and open the door. See, I thought that was going to be locked, but it's in survival mode that it's locked. Oh, lordy. Okay. Hi there. Oh, we need one of these. Coffee. We could do without coffee. Let's cook it right now. <laughs> we could we could do with the calories and the warming up. Oh, granola bars. See all this stuff though. We need to take all this food back to Grey Mother. This can't really be for us. And she's the one that sent us here and told us about all this food. And we're actually looking for food for her. So, yeah. All of this stuff we've got to give away. Sucks. Beef jerkies. Uh, anything in here? Yep. And um, we've got some cans of soda and there as well tin of coffee amazing oh speaking of which we need to get back to our coffee and delicious we drink that and that's warmed us right up and given us a little bit of calories so Peaches, nice. Open the microwave, anything in there? No. Um, get some more of this stuff because this will help us with the the fire stuff that we need for Grey Mother because it's tinder and it counts towards the stockpile of fire equipment, <laughs> fire materials. Search inside the container. Some cloth there. Search in here for medical supplies. Amazing. Oh, we can get some water out of there. I know it seems disgusting, but it's a lifesaver in this game. Oh, and there's a little bed and everything out here. We've got some matches, some wood. I'm Loads not sure of I can carry peaches. More. Well, you're going to have to carry it, I'm afraid. Oh, a bedroll. We don't have a bedroll yet. Okay, search locker. Anything in there? Yeah. We need a pry bar to get into this. some of this stuff under there no okay I'm gonna check the desk I've got a hat and now we're gonna search the filing cabinet water there anything in the trash can no okay I think we have searched everything in here that we can oh accelerant for making fires we don't really need it to make the fires it just helps if you're struggling to light a fire, the accelerant will light the fire straight away. Okay, yep, I think we've 
gone through everything. Oh, she says, and then she finds more stuff. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Water bottle. Anything in here? No, anything in here? No, okay. Let's go and talk to this guy, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, we need to search this and grab those matches, get that paper, let's go, oh, there's a note here, it says general notice to orchid gas locations on Great Bear Island. As we are no longer in a position to ensure adequate and timely supply deliveries from our mainland district distribution centers we regret to inform you that we must reduce the frequency of our supply deliveries to once per quarter as such we are relaxing restrictions on using local suppliers this applies to our remote locations only all orca gas locations on the mainland must continue to source their merchandise from approved providers okay so this is basically a letter when supplies were going bad on great bear island Okay, and oh, we've got an energy drink. Um, search the cash register. Okay, I think that is it. I think we've got everything. Okay, now I guess we uh, speak to this guy. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm here to witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? Um, okay. I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. Okay. Yeah, what town? What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. Oh, this it's the town. town of the old world, discarded, left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. <laughs> A bit harsh. Uh, strange. You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way, but how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm, power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. Oh, that's very ominous. So cars, 
Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running? People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Um, okay. Thank you. Go safely. And good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Me too, old man. We really need to find Astrid. Okay, well... I guess it's time to go back to Grey Mother. Oh, bottle of water. <laughs> We're really hungry again, but we... Uh, we can't eat this food. It's for Grey Mother. We can eat maybe a little bit. No, we'll eat it before bed. Let's get the flare ready because there are wolves about outside. I could eat anything right now. Oh my god, oh my god, he's coming. <laughs> um I guess try and leave the back way. I think he can smell the guts on me. Shit, he's coming again! <laughs> oh my lord. Or, or that was a different wolf. I don't know. <laughs> it's. I think it's the guts. We need to get rid of the guts right now. We need to leave it here. We can come back for them. But yeah, it's this and this, the hide and the guts. It was making us really smelly. There, we can leave it there and it will cure over time and dry out and we can come back and get it and craft it into a hat or some gloves. <laughs> okay. Are we going to be able to get out of here? Okay. Let's go. Shit. Let's just run. Oh, and the scary music started. Scary me even more. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's right behind us. Ah! Quick run. Oh, we can't because we're carrying too much stuff. So it's making it harder for us to move. But he shouldn't attack us whilst we've got this flare in our hands. And we need to catch our breath before we run again. Can we dive into one of these houses? Oh, this music! Ah! Okay, uh, where's a house that I can go into? They're all destroyed. There's one, right here. Oh, lordy. Okay, can we go in? No, it's locked. Ah. Oh. Here. Can we go into this house? Yeah, we can. We can. We can. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read all of this because our flare is just going to burn out. So if you guys want to read all of this, then pause it here and read that. Okay, and we've got a book here. Got a backpack. You can search this. I could use this. Wool socks. Oh, we've got a new objective. Find. Oh, let's press J. 
find, harvest and prepare some medicinal flora. We'll have a look at this in a bit because our flare is actually burning out. <laughs> Milton post office note. Pause this to read as well because our flare is burning out really quickly. Sorry guys. Okay. Oh, gloves. I think that's everything in here. Yeah, we need to go. Our flare's burning. And I did hear a wolf out here. Oh man, we are so slow with all this stuff. I can't wait to unload it back at the house. And we are nearly there. Come on, final push. <laughs> you can do it, Mackenzie. That's it. Okay, here we go. Let's just throw that for now. And we are back. Okay, let's fill up Grey Mother's fridge with all the food we just got. We found so much. Uh, we need to keep some for us to eat. <laughs> but we have found so much for Grey Mother, look. Give her the rubbish condition stuff. this and that and this and that oh my gosh we're giving her all of the food back what happened oh yeah okay so we've literally checked that one off already we filled her whole fridge with all the food we needed to so there might even be spare food in that fridge that we can actually get back out <laughs> and now we need to fill her firewood bin okay so here's the bin let's put everything in there Um, all of these, all of these, all the books, uh, all of the newsprint that we found, all of the papers that we found, all of the coal that we found, <laughs> all of the newsprint rolls, and let's give her some matches. cattails there we go and I think we've done it because it just says return to grey mother we're going to go and eat some of that food before we do that Okay. Nice. Yep. And finally, see that's good. We filled our hunger up a fair amount now. So let's go back and see Grey Mother and tell her we've got all this stuff for her. Uh, friend. Have you been able to remember anything else about that night? Anything that might help me find my friend? I'm back in that night. Wind howling. Voices passing through town. I can hear them. Just outside the window. It's windy. But the voices carry. They are yelling. Her voice, it passes through town. She's running. She's alone. 
calling for help. But no one comes. Why didn't anyone help her? Yes. Why didn't they? They should have... They should have found her before it was too late. Anything else you can remember might help. They said... Men came from the tunnel. What about the tunnel? The only way out of Milton. The only way through the mountains. It's the only way she could have gone. Oh wow, that's... Oh my god, poor Astrid. On the way into town, there was an old man. Glasses, big beard, walking stick. He seemed uh, a little odd. Doesn't sound like anyone from Milton. Most of the elderly have gone. Or died. I'm the only one left. The only one from the old days. Okay, um, visitors. The old man outside of town. Methuselah. He said he'd seen other people. Walking towards Milton. Other outsiders? It's possible. Where would they be? Maybe my friend was with them. If they were outsiders, they might have stayed in the old schoolhouse. In the months after the quakes, people used to huddle there for the warmth of the school's old coal burner. Rare outsider coming through Milton might stay there the night. If your friend came through Milton, chances are she ended up there. Okay. Grey Mother thinks something happened at the tunnel leading out from Milton. Investigate. Wow, okay. First of all, we're going to take a look at our inventory. And see what we can... Right, what are we wearing? Yeah, we've got the best gloves. Well, the best gloves that we've found anyway. Okay. Wear these socks are better. Wear. 43%. Yeah, we need to fix up some of these clothes. 38%. Yeah, so actions. Repair. Oh, we don't have a sewing kit yet. Okay, there's still so much stuff we need to find. Okay, so for now... We are going to empty some things in here. So we don't need all of these matches on us. Uh, we don't need all of these antibiotics on us. We don't actually need this because we've got the um, the old man's beard. Leave the, we don't need the energy drink. We only need one bottle of painkillers on us. We won't need this. Okay, we'll need the bandages probably. And we can leave all the stuff we're not wearing. We can leave that behind. And I think we'll take the coffee actually. Okay, we can leave this. We don't need this or this because we have so much water. And... Wait, so let's have a look at the oil lamp. Can refuel it. Okay, so we've used all of our lamp oil that we had and put it in the lamp. We've got this makeshift knife a stone okay let's put some more stuff away we can put away the stone and the flare shell because we don't have a flare gun yet and yeah we can leave the leather here and these we need to turn into bandages because we've left our antiseptic here so go into crafting and here 
and old man's beard wound dressing and we'll craft one of those we need three to make one bandage so three of these to make one bandage so we've got one bandage on us which is okay we can create all of these so we've got extra painkillers and extra ways to warm ourselves up I'm gonna drink this water then I think we can where is the water yeah we've got a lot on us we can drop all of it actually so we we'll leave that there because we're gonna find more water when we go out and investigate the other houses out there there are more toilets and we are going to find more water <laughs> okay so the objective is to go and investigate the tunnel but guys i think i'm going to end this part here and continue with the story in the next episode guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed the video then please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one bye <music>